The international break allows us to sit back and reflect and ask ourselves questions like, which international side is the most confounding? Well, for today's lesson, it's going to be Spain. On Wednesday, in the Nations League semi-final, Spain met Italy in a rematch from that classic Euro semi-final back in July. Yeah, I know. July already. Where Italy won on penalties after being on the back foot all match. Well, Wednesday, revenge was served with an impressive 2-1 Spain win. This coming after the Spanish had lost to Sweden last month in World Cup qualifying. Now, Spain entered Euro as an outsider, touted by few, a team in generally poor form, and a team no longer able to draw from all the world-class Spanish talent at Real Madrid or Barcelona. In fact, there were no real players for Spain at Euro, and there were none entering this week's Italy match either. And in fact, there were just four Barca players available, with only Sergio Busquets, a familiar name to those not close to La Liga, especially as Fati and Pedri were both missing. In fact, there's no coincidence that as Real and Barca especially suffer through some trying times, so should Spain really, right? Only a Euro, they were actually great, and those who loved the tactical side of football rejoiced in the modern style that Luis Enrique coached. It was groundbreaking, players not really in traditional positions, more like buzzing bees merely filling spaces. Total football, dare I say? Now, no one's really talking about Spain when it comes to next year's World Cup either, and that's in large part down to the form of Barcelona and Real Madrid domestically. Throw in the odd Sweden result, and they really are an enigma who can then go out and beat the European champions, while at the same time redefining the game tactically. Spain, so confounding, but don't bet against them.